This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. We're at the Europa Hotel here in Belfast um, for unfinished business. Carl Frampton against Kiko Martinez. Um, this is actually the night before the fight. With me, I've got Paul Smith and Paul Smith. How are you? Fine. I'm good. <laughs> You're a little boy, Paul. He is, yeah. Proud dad. He's a, he's a, he's a good kid. He's, he's everything, everything you'd want in a kid. And won't let me go to boxing on my own now, will you? You've got to come to every fight. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Who are we supporting? Mm. Who are we come to watch? Uncle. Uncles. What's his name? Who's fighting tomorrow? Uncle Wiggly Fingers. Uncle Wiggly Fingers? Yeah. Why does he call that? Um, cause he has wiggly fingers and he goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're here because your brother Callum is fighting his third professional uh, bout. How do you think he's progressed so far? Obviously, he's had three fights in a relatively short amount of time, but you know, watching him, how uh, you're watching him, how do you think he's he's gone so far? I think he's coming on nicely. He's he's developing well. He's growing in, into to be a, a big super middleweight and it's obviously it's obvious that he's going to end up at, at a big light heavy eventually he's he's about six three and a half now you know i think he's coming to the end of his growth on on his height but he, he'll fill out and he'll get that he'll develop that man strength that you get when he hits about 25 or something but his, his progression's coming on nice he, he's sparring great in the gym i spar with him myself he's got good sparring in the gym with the likes of Jose Burton, and callum johnson kids that come in all the time he's always in sparring them and, and he's coming on at, at the right pace because he wanted to be busy that was the whole reason of, of him turning pro uh, and signing with Eddie Ayn and, and coming with the matchroom team so he, he, he could get as many fights in, in this season as he could he's looking on eight fights he's been promised eight fights and that, that's what he wants um, for his first year and Tommy Tolan's ideal opponent for him you know, he's, he's someone who's, who's tough who's game who will come forward and won't stop coming forward and, and someone who you've got to be you've got to be able to, to, to be a bit clever and a bit cute to, to watch his head, to get his head out the way, to open him up for some shots and watch taking a few yourself. So it'll be a good learning fight for him. I mean, I know you, you, all your brothers now have, have turned professional and you're always at each other's fights and always very, very close-knit. So, I mean, is it the same when you're watching whatever brother at whatever stage of their career that you're a bit nervous for them, a bit panicky that... You know, obviously you don't want him being hurt. And I remember seeing you after your brother Stephen lost to, to Lee Selby. And it was it was heartbreaking to watch you in the dressing room, to be honest. I didn't really think they should have showed you, you know, your thing there. But they did. But, you know, is it is it the same thing any time you're watching one of your brothers fight? Yeah, and you're right about that, that one with the Selby fight. And, you know, in my opinion and in Stephen's, everyone will say different because of what happened in the result. But that was Stephen's fight to lose. It, it, I wasn't as nervous as I should I should be and as I would be now for that fight because Stephen seemed invincible at the time he knows what he'd done wrong in that fight he'll tell you straight I don't need to tell you everyone knows you know it's no secret he, he just he, he trained wrong he peaked a bit too soon he had to cancel a fight because of my wedding and a show got pulled blah de blah he got back in he tried to peak again he couldn't quite hit the peak again and went in there you know not at his best lost the fight to, to Lee Selby who'd done everything he had to do and beat Stephen that night but Stephen will be the first to say it wasn't him and the sky camera's shown me you know when he got when he got caught with that shot and went down it's the first time I've ever seen Stephen even even hurt in a fight never mind being put down and being put down bad with, with, with the, the tiredness that he had so I was a lot more nervous watching Stephen in his comeback fight because of what happened but I've been doing the corners with Joe. You know, Joe. Joe works on his own and the fighters help out in the corner and that calms me nerves a lot when I'm in the corner because not that I'm trying to do the job, it's not my job, it's Joe's job. I'm there to pass the water, put the stool in, take it out, give him a bit of support. You know, I don't want to undermine Joe and talk over him. I don't want to act like an expert and give my opinion. It's not, I'm not asked to, for my opinion. Joe asked me a, my opinion in between when the rounds are on and in the corner. Joe does the speaking and that's the way I think a corner should be. But it calms me a lot because 
I'm not sitting front row screaming, shouting and involved. I'm just sitting shouting the odd little tactic here and there in the ring and I know I've got to keep a bit quiet and I've got to watch the fight and look for faults. So it, it helps me out a lot with my nerves and th since I've been doing the corners, my nerves have been a lot easier to handle, whereas in the past they were, they were rootless. So Liam having his Commonwealth title fight, that was a big occasion because it's his first big title and I was a little bit more nervous for that one, but I'll be just as nervous tomorrow for, for, for Callum against Tommy Tolan in the sixth round. And, and, and that's... That's just we're, we're having your brothers as boxing, and I know Stephen and Liam Callum are the same with when I fight and the others fight. I mean, your dad's got four sons as four professional boxers. Is this something that you think that will be a family trait that your kids and your brother's kids and everyone will end up getting into the into the boxing game, or is it something you don't particularly want your children to get into? No, I, I hope it stops with us, and I think Stephen's the same. I think if you went and asked Stephen, Stephen's just got a new little lad, Frank. He was born in August, and if you asked him, does he want him to fight when he's older, he'd probably say straight away, point blank, no, and that's the same with me with him. What are you going to be when you're older? Boxer. And no, <laughs> no matter what I tell him, he's 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 been playing footy and he's, he's been at Liverpool's academy and he, he's interested in it and he's keen on it, but the boxing just seems to dominate his thoughts. He loves coming to shows, he loves watching in the house. He punches, he has a go, he's got a little bit of talent and I can see it in him and he's, you know, it's four three uncles and his dad, all, bo all boxers and at a decent level without me being big headed he's going to have something in him he's going to have a little bit of genetics and a little bit of knowledge already and I was exactly at the same as him when I was his age I was reading boxing news when I was five or six with my dad and I used to get a punch ball every Christmas and, and, and pitches in the house and me punching it and I look exactly like him and it was all I ever wanted to do so I wouldn't stop him doing it but I, I don't want him to I'd rather him do something different he said he wants to be an architect or a zookeeper or a footballer or a boxer and I think the boxing is just taking first priority at the minute for him. So if you had the choice of being a footballer or a boxer when you're older, professional footballer, professional boxer, which one would you pick? A boxer. You wouldn't, you wouldn't choose to be a footballer and I play for Liverpool? Nah. <laughs> Why? Can't be bothered. You'd be the next Stevie Gillard, wouldn't you? Nah. No? Yeah. Just boxing? Yeah, just boxing. Who's your favourite uncle out of all your dad's brothers? Um, um, I don't know. Uh, Liam, Beefy? Mm, I don't know. Tell them you can't answer, can you? I can't answer. Tell them you love them all the same, don't you? Love them yeah. all the same. Did you know that I was your uncle? I'm like a secret brother. You didn't know that, did you? I'm your dad's older, older brother. Oh, you know. Guess who his dad is? I don't know. What do you call your granddad? Granddad Biggins. Granddad Biggins is dad. Do you know No. No. <laughs> not really, not really. Winding you up. He's been helping me doing the editing. He's been telling me when all the videos are finished and he's been calling me over. Been helping me today, haven't you? Been you? Yep. Ask him where's your wages? Where's your wages? In the post. Okay. <laughs> what happened to you today? Because something happened to you today, didn't it? Yeah. Tell the people what happened to you today. Um, it's um a stupid camera man um, whacked me head with the camera. And this is the blood, isn't it? This is the proof of all the blood here from it. Yep. So have you got a message to that cameraman now? If he's watching this video, have you got a message to him? I swear. Okay. Come on. He's a little stupid. Thickhead. We'll leave, we can leave that one there. Uh. What that one is? All right. He's got the bloods on him because we've only brought three lots of club because he's here Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we're going up in a minute. You can lash this in the bag and put your clean clothes on tomorrow, can't you? Yeah. 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 Well, just finally, what's what's the situation with you? As in, you uh, have you got a date set or an opponent set for your for your next fight? Um, no, I know, but it, it's it's promising. You know, me, me next me next fight for the British title, and I've been told that you know I'll find out this Wednesday confirmed. The next time the British title's four four at twelve stone, I'll be in one corner. So whether it's Kenny Anderson, great. If it's not, it'll be someone else for the title. But I get a chance to to, to win back the title that I lost. One more win, and it, it's mine to keep. And I, that, that's what I want. You know, I want that Lonsdale belt, and then I can crack on it and, and get going again. Then. Yeah, like I said, it's been some what of a frustrating time for you of late, and you're sort of you're coming back into that mix again now. So I suppose you just want to get out as many times as you can this year, 
and uh, put yourself back on the map? Definitely, you know, I, I, I had a six rounder just just to get my foot back in the door and just to get back in the rankings and to put myself in 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 the frame for the, for the British title again. And the the wins on me a bit of good. You know, it was good to get to just to get back in after after the loss I had to, to George Groves. I just got I just got caught with it with it with a perfect shot. You know, it landed right on the button. I didn't see it coming. It was one of them things. I've been it harder before. I've been it harder since. The shot was just a perfect shot on the night, and it caught me and George done brilliantly to, to, to get me out of there, you know, which, which no one else has ever done. But I want to prove that, you know, it, it, it was just just one of them things. That was boxing, you get caught, but I know I can do an hell of a lot better than get my title back and get the belt to keep. And you've just been verified on Twitter. How did that come about? I'm not telling you. <laughs> I didn't buy it, put it that way, and I didn't ask for it. It just, it, it just, it's just one of them things. It just happens. I got an email, I got an email asking for the email that I opened the account with, and got verified and that's it and now I've got our kids asking me to verify it <laughs> <laughs> alright listen Paul thank you very much for talking to my wife from London uh, l- listen we look forward to seeing your brother fight tomorrow like I said third fight hopefully be 3 and 0 for him and um, yeah cracking on all the Smith brothers nice one mate thanks a lot all the best bye bye say I film London I film London I, f- I film Liverpool I film Liverpool he thinks he's a scouser he thinks he's a scouser <laughs> It's Plazzy Scouts, isn't he? You're an Everton fan, aren't you? No. <laughs> what an Everton. Don't swear. No, uh, don't, don't. Your mum might watch. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is Kogan Cassius with Paul Smith and little Paul Smith for iFilm London. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cool. Come on. Let's go, mate. Okay.